Hi everyone. Well, we're back. We're going to uh, make a new uh, sun catcher today. This one's going to be uh, similar to the one that we made the round one with the uh, the glass crystal in. Except for this one here, we're going to put a hummingbird in the middle of it. And uh, this is the this is the bird right here we're going to use. So it's going to hang with a tether. And uh, so it should be uh, should be a, a pretty fun project. Uh, we're going to stay in the green hues, so we're going to use uh, some wispy green dark around the outside edge, some lighter green on the inside, and we're going to run an iridescent band around the middle. So, be, so it's going to have three, three circles on them. So anyway, this is what's going to go in the middle of it. Uh, the uh, ad said that this was glass. Yeah, I, I think it's more uh, probably some type of plastic, hopefully out in the sun it won't fade too bad so uh, we'll hang it in there and we'll see what happens over a period of time so we'll go from there yeah it's more like an acrylic plastic of some kind so anyway let's get started here so if you watch my other videos here uh, we're gonna we're gonna draw some circles on here uh, we're not gonna use a compass uh, we're gonna use my ruler this is it right here uh, made this a long time ago. It's just an inexpensive plastic ruler. And what I did with it, starting right here, every every line you see here is an inch further out. And every quarter inch, I drilled a hole in it. So the way this works is that we'll take it, we'll make a pivot hole right here in the center. We'll punch this through with one of our pins and then we can draw our circles. So put your put your paper that you're going to draw your pattern on down and just take a little piece of masking tape and just hold it right here and then take your uh, drawing board take one of your stick pins turn it over and locate where you've drilled the hole it's right here just take and push that through now when you come back over with your drawing board, you'll know where to line this up right here. So what, the way this is going to work, and I'll show you that first we're going to do some things here. Uh, on the uh, other one we did with the circle, uh, we already had the pattern drawn out and then we went ahead and we showed you how to do the pattern. Well, this we're going to do a little bit different. We're going to make the pattern as we draw the original drawing that we're going to follow. And uh, I didn't have a piece of pattern paper big enough for the project. It's about uh, 11, 11 and a half inches uh, across. So what I did is I just took my pattern paper and I spliced some of it together. So the pattern paper, I see I've made a hinge here. So the pattern paper is going to go underneath here like this. And I'll just take and tape it down just lightly. So we can go right here. And we'll go right here. And then I'm going to take my carbon paper. This is the one that we used before. And I'm going to set it in here. I'm going to use three sheets of it because I want to be sure that I've got everything covered up here. All right, now I'm going to pull this down tight. Just like that. I've got my, so this is basically I've made a sandwich here. I've got my pattern piece against my drawing board. I've got my carbon paper, carbon side down, so it'll transfer to my uh, pattern paper. And now I'm going to take this right here, and I'm going to take it, I'm going to tape this so it can't get away. Just like this. Now, I'm going to take here, and uh, let's go ahead kind of line this up in the middle here so you can see what we're going to do. I'm going to take this and I'm going to take our ruler and I'm going to set it right in here. Put the pin right here through the drawing board. It's a little tricky sometimes to get it lined up. Like that. I have a small little socket wrench that I just take and push it down. And then I'm going to make my circles. And I've kind of uh, got this in my mind how I want to do this. So the first circle 
uh, in the inside where the hanging the bird's going to hang is going to be five inches inside. So uh, half of five is two and a half. So we come out here. Here's one inch, two inch. Here's the half inch mark right here. We just take our and we make our circle just like that. Then the second ring that we're going to put on the outside here, uh, we're going to make uh, we're going to make we're going to make this one here. Uh, let's go let's go an inch. So one, two, three, four. This will be an inch right here. Here again, this is just going to be a cut and stack project. Uh, we're going to use the pattern, but as far as drawing it, uh, we're just going to do whatever we like here. I think we're going to make this one three quarter. One, two, three. This will be our iridescent glass. Like that. And the last ring, I think we're going to make it an inch and a quarter. So it'll be one, two, three, four, plus that's an inch and an eighth. So let's go out here to inch and a quarter. Just like that. Okay, now we've got our perfect circles. We need to divide it up into some working pieces that we can use. So I'm going to get my square out. This is the carpenter square that we've used for a lot of other projects. Uh, we're going to put it in here and we're, going to, and we're going to draw some lines through here. I think we're going to use a different square. I'm going to use my uh, square for cutting glass. I think it'll give us a better, a better uh, lineup. If you don't have a square like this, this is, this is for primarily for cutting glass. It has a little lip on it here. It's got a nice cutting surface along here. So uh, they make them in all different sizes. This is kind of a medium one. They make some great big ones and some smaller ones. So what we're going to do, we're going to set this in here just like this. Going to come up right against our line right here. And for the inside and outside ring, we're going to make the, the joints the same. Let me come over here on this side so we can get a, a better view for what we're doing here. Let me move this up just a little bit so we can get our get our square in here. So for this one and this one we're going to make these joints all the same. The inner one here we're going to rotate it so that these joints will be in the center of these. So here, so all we're going to do here, we're going to draw a line here. We're going to draw a line here. Here. And here. Then we're going to come around here. And we're going to come right up against the center here. We're going to do the same thing. We're drawing one here. And one here. And when you do this, kind of push down fairly hard on your pencil. Because we want to go through the carbon paper onto our pattern. One here, here. Now, from here, we want to divide this two more times, or, or one time per panel here. So we're going to end up with eight pieces here. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring this over. Get this like this. We're going to take a 45 degree triangle. Going to line up right on our center line right here. Make sure this is up square. And we're going to go here. And we're going to go here. I'm going to turn this over. Holding everything tight here. We're going to go here. And here. And now we're going to come down here. Turn this over here. Well, let's see here. I have to turn this upside down, I guess. We'll do it this way. Get this in here where I want it. Okay, there we go. Down here, down here. Turn it back over. Obviously, if you're not filming this, it's a lot easier to do on your own because you can be right on top of it. I'm kind of reaching out to do this. 
so it makes it a little bit harder. Okay, so that gives us eight sections for each of our borders here. Now, to figure this one in the middle here, uh, this is probably not very scientific, but it, uh, it works. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up right here in between these two. This is right here. I'm going to measure from this point to this point. It's three and a quarter. So that's going to be uh, one and a half and eight. So one and five eighths. I'm going to just make a little mark right here. I'm going to come down here, do the next one here. Every one of these, I'm going to divide it by one and an eighth inches. I'm just going to make a little mark right here. You may have a better way to do that. Uh, if you do, go ahead and uh, use your own method. This just works pretty good. You want to go from point to point, keep it straight so that they'll all be the same. Half and five eighths, one and five eighths. Find it here. Come on down here. One and five eighths. And we'll come on around here. Okay, so then this way uh, we'll have everybody marked off one and five eighths. And we'll come up here to here. Mark it one and five eighths. Now you just take your, your ruler of some type and you go from point to point here. From here to here. And we just draw a line right here. And we draw a line right here. And that'll break these into sections that we can work with here. We end up with eight sections here. But they'll be offset from the other two. Uh, primarily because I don't like to run a bunch of joints all together straight down. Uh, it's difficult to keep them all nice and straight. And this will add some rigidity to the circle. So that's why we're doing this. And this also gives us a nice angle uh, for our for our glass. Let's see, I don't that's not where I want to go here with this one. I was gonna say that that doesn't look quite right. Here we go. So we draw that like that. Here's the one where that goes. All right, so now we've got it divided up. We've got our eight inner circle right here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to build these with uh, some wispy glass. Uh, the outside edge is going to be a dark green. The inside is going to be a light green. Wispy glass has a, has a grain that goes up and down. Uh, you probably have watched some of my other videos. Uh, we've talked about the grain before. So I've got it marked here. This is the grain going up and down. So when we cut these pieces, we're going to start up here with them going up and down. And as we come around the edges here, we're going to keep them going up and down, up and down, all the way around. We're going to do that on the inside and on the outside. On the ripple glass in here, we're going to do the same thing. So I've got this marked uh, by looking at the sheet. The arrows indicate that the, actually the, the grain is going up this way. So this will be the lighter, lighter green. We're going to go inside here to match up with the green on our uh, hummingbird. And then, like I say, the iridescent glass is going to go in the next. And then we're going to use a darker one. And the darker one's about three shades darker than that. It's all, it's all in the same uh, glass family. That's a wispy glass. So it'll give us a, a nice effect. So from here now, there's a couple things we're going to do. We're going to, uh, I don't know if my little T-square is long enough here or not. This is getting kind of big. Let's see if that'll work. That'll work. I'm going to come in here and I want to mark these with an arrow. And what the arrow is going to do is going to tell me when I get these all cut, cut apart, 
how these are straight up and down. If I don't do that and they start getting crooked, you'll notice it, especially with the wispy glass, that we've moved away from being straight and uh, your job won't look quite as nice. Uh, if you're limited on glass, as far as the amount of glass that you have, sometimes you can't do this because this does use up quite a bit of glass because you're coming in here and you're making these all go the direction of the, of the glass. So keep that in mind. Say, for instance, you've got a small piece of glass that uh, either you purchased or somebody gave you, and uh, you're not going to have enough glass to make this uh, directional. Uh, then you just have to do uh, the best you can with it. Uh, a lot of people will never even question or no notice it. Uh, maybe somebody who who is into the into the glass or uh, the stained glass might look at it and say, "You you know, you've got those going all different directions." But um, I wouldn't I wouldn't think so. All right. So anyway, you're getting the picture here. We're going to take and we're just going to put a little bit of a little arrow on all of these. I'm not going to put an arrow on all of these while you're while you're watching. We'll go offline to do that. But we do need do to need to want do one more thing to this. Uh, we've got so many pieces here, and we want to know where they're going to go. We're going to need to number them. So we'll start right here in the middle, and we'll make this number one. Okay, so the first one's going to be one through eight. I'll go offline. I'll number the rest of these four. So then the next row will be nine, and then we'll go on out to the far outside. So we'll get them all numbered. We'll get the arrows on. And then when we come back, we'll show you our pattern. Uh, we're just going to cut these out with a regular pair of scissors, even though as we add lead, this will start to grow because we're going to do this, the, my cut and stack method. I don't care if this grows as we add the lead to it. And we've talked about adding the lead, what makes it go bigger. Uh, the lead itself, the like this is the H cam, the go between here, here. Uh, that adds a 30 second each time you put that in. This is the channel where the glass goes. And the U cam, that's the one that goes around the outside edge. Uh, this is the one that goes right here. It's a 16th of an inch. So inside here, we're going to have a piece of U cam that's going to be inside here to make this first circle. And on the outside, we're going to have, pull this down just a little bit so you can see it. We're going to pull this down. It's going to have a U came around the outside. These two in the middle will be H came. All of these will be H came. Right here, we're going to put a little tiny hanger. That'll be where we're going to suspend our hummingbird from. So uh, we'll do that with a, with a little method that I've come up with. And we'll show you how to do that. So anyway, we'll be back in a minute. We'll get all these arrows put on here, get the rest of this numbered, and uh, then we'll go from there. Okay, we're back. We got all our arrows drawn and so forth. I took a look at the pattern here, and I'm going to make one change here. I'm going to make this uh, this outside one here about a quarter inch bigger. Uh, uh, I think I, I don't want it to match this one here in the middle, so we'll just take our square or our ruler here with all the holes in it, and we'll push it right back in here. And we'll take and push it down here and we'll add a quarter inch to it so we'll go out to this one right here and we'll bring it around um, so it's not a really big deal but um, what we'll do then I'll just go in here and I'll pull these down here like this and uh, just take my ruler and just mark these where we're going to cut them so I can do that offline, but I just didn't want to show you that uh, that's what we're going to do here. Well, I better go ahead and mark them all, and then we're going to we're going to take this apart, and I'll show you the uh, the pattern. So I'll just go ahead and mark them here. That's the nice thing about cut and stack, and like I say before, there's there's a kind of a just kind of whatever comes up in your mind that you want to try to make. Uh, that's the fun part about these. These are all original pieces, so. Uh, there's no pattern. There's not anybody's going to uh, make one. It looks just exactly like yours. So we'll go ahead and move this one out here to, to a little bit bigger. Uh, and we'll go from there. So now 
We've got it all drawn up the way we we'll want it. We added our little bit out here on the outside edge. So when we cut these, we'll cut to the outside edge here. So now we're going to take our paper off here. And we're going to take and we're going to take our take this back and unhinge it. And we're going to take our carbon paper up. And that creates our exact pattern right here. So like I said, we're going to take a pair of regular scissors. We're going to cut these all out. We're not going to use the shears that cut out the center because we don't care if it grows. We'll let it grow on out and let it be as big as, as big as we want it. So from here, we'll take our pattern piece off here. Take that out of the way. And now we're going to take our drawing. Pull it off of our board here. Get rid of all that. We don't need that. Now we're going to move our board out of the way. And we're going to get our pattern in here. And then what we're going to do, get our square here, make sure it's in the center of our camera so we get a decent picture of it. We're going to take our carpenter square right here. Set it up against our backstop. And we're going to come right up against this upline right here. Make sure it's straight up and down. Right there. We're going to get our masking paper tape. We're going to go ahead and we're going to tape it down to our work table. Just like that. I'll go offline and tape that up a little bit better. So then from there, uh, we'll go ahead and get ready to start to make this. We'll cut some pieces uh, after we get our pattern cut up. Uh, when we cut up our pattern, we're going to take three little envelopes and we're going to put each piece, uh, for, for each ring, we're going to put them in a different envelope so you don't get them all mixed up. But they're all numbered, so you should be okay, and they've all got a directional arrow on them, so we'll know where to put them when we get ready to cut our glass. So we'll be back in a minute, and uh, we'll get ready to, uh, to cut some glass, and we'll make our circle. All right, well, I've got our pattern all cut apart. I uh, uh, took uh, just three regular little envelopes here. I marked where the pieces are, so this one here is for the inside. We have one for the center and one for the outside of our circle. So I'm going to put these uh, pattern pieces under our glass. I'm just going to use a little glue stick and uh, we're going to go in the direction of the glass. So I've got a group here. This is for the inside group. It's going to be the light green uh, wispy glass. And we're running it all the directions. So I just wanted to show you how I've got them stuck on here. So what I'll do is I'll come down here with my cutter and I'll cut this in, a, in, a, in half here. Cut it down here and cut it down here. Then I'll cut these pieces out. We'll hit them on the grinder to just get the edges the way we want them. And they'll fit around the inside circle here. And as soon as I get them cut up, what we'll do, we'll make us a, uh, a piece of you came in this circle right here. It's five inches around. And so we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, probably what we'll do is we'll bring the ends together right here at the top at this joint right here. And what we're going to do probably uh, take and we'll put our hanger in there. And we might even take and just go ahead and, and give it a little tack solder right there just to hold it together. Then we'll start, we'll build our frame around here. And then we'll just add around it as we go around. And wherever it grows, it grows. We don't really care. So anyway, that's how the, that's how the pattern is put onto the glass right here. Uh, just go ahead and cut those off and then we'll go ahead and come back and we'll show you how we're going to put them together. i come back on here real quick and just show you how we're going to cut these pieces out here. So uh, you just take your glass cutter and you go in here like this. Just go ahead and score it like that. Then you can just take it and pop it out. These guys here, I'm going to take my uh, ruler here. Cut these right down the middle here. Just take and snap it. Do the same thing here. Take your running pliers. Pop that out. 
Then up here, I'm going to cut this inner circle first here. We'll get it over here where you can see it. Just take your running pliers, stick it in here. Snap it out. And we'll take this here and go across the top here. Now, if you go a little bit long out of your line, don't worry, because we're going to put this on a grinder. We're going to touch it. We're going to grind this right back to that. So don't panic if you think, oh, my goodness, i got to have to try to cut that real small there. We're going to grind it back to that pattern. So these little ones, you just can take and pop them out with your with your uh, running pliers. Now, after you do this for a while, you get the hang for uh, how, to, how to get these pieces the way you want them here. You don't have to push real, real hard on the glass. You just have to uh, get it to score. So there's your piece right there. And we'll do this last one real quick here. Let's go ahead and score this both all the way around here. I can just take my running pliers, go in here and pop this, and go in here and pop this off. Okay, so there's all our pieces for our inner circle. So I just want to show you that real quick how that's cut. Uh, then, like I said, we'll dress them all up with the grinder, and then uh, we'll set them in here with our you uh, came around the inside edge, and we'll be ready to start to build this out. All right, well we're back. We got our. Uh, Glass cut for our inner circle. Uh, we bent our U came here for uh, to make the uh, start of the circle inside. Uh, you notice right here we've taken we've notched it. That's where we're going to put our little hanger to hang our uh, our hummingbird from. And uh, these a angles here have been cut back just a little bit. So when this comes together, this will make a perfect fit right here. And to make this, I just took a uh, just a a old planter. Uh, cup here and I just set this in here and I just took and bent the you came around it to get it to be perfectly round so what we're going to do here we're going to cheat a little bit we're going to take so we, so we don't have so many pieces that are loose here we're going to take and we're going to tack solder this together here uh, but we want to put our hanger in here and our hanger is being made here again out of this little uh, 16th inch cotter pin it's a uh, it's a steel zinc plated cotter pin. Uh, it's one sixteenth inch diameter, an inch and three quarter, and it's going to go down inside the came here. And then when we get to get ready to put our pieces of glass in here, we'll come in here and we'll notch this back a little bit to uh, take up for this legs for this right here. So to get started, we're just going to take and we're going to pin this. Get a half a dozen pins here. And I'm just going to take it, I'm just going to set it right here, and, and just anywhere, it doesn't make any difference. So I'm just going to pin it, then I'm going to bring it together and hold it. And I'm going to come around here. And I want to push the came in, I'm just going to make the pins go right up next to it. Bring it down here. Just like that. And then before we get too far, I'm going to put this down in here to go inside here, just like that. Take a pin here and just cook it, and then pull it down in here. That'll be in the middle there. Then take and line that up. Pull this in just a little bit more. Okay, so here's our here's our hanger right here now. So it's going to be uh, we'll solder it in when we get when we get ready to solder around the outside edge. So it's down inside the U came here. So now nobody will see it other than just the little uh, loop coming through it here. So we're just going to take our solder, 
is going to use a little bit here, or flux, I mean, or solder. Then we're going to take our iron, and we're going to tin it just a little bit. We're going to take and set it right here, just like that. Now we can take all these pins out. We can turn it over. We'll take and we'll tack that side too. This is probably cheating a little bit, but it makes it a lot easier than holding on to the, all the pieces. That's all you need to do right there. Okay, so now you can see inside here, you can see here's the legs of our little cotter pin down here. Here's our loop coming through here. So now what we're going to do, we're going to position it over our circle here on our drawing, get it lined up as close as we can. We're going to make this joint right here at this seam so that uh, it'll be strong and it'll hold it. And by the time we get it soldered, it will be hidden so you won't see it. So we're going to set this in here like that. Before I pin it real tight, I'm going to put a couple pieces of glass in here to make sure that's where we want it. For instance, I'm going to take piece number seven, whoops, number seven right here inside. I'll come over here and take number three. Again, since we're building the cut and stack, this may grow a little bit. So here, this needs to go. This needs to go that way just a little bit. That'll be good right there. So I'll put some pins in here real quick. Make sure this is lined up right there for our hanger. If I want to, I can take a pin here and pull it down tight against our hanger so our hanger doesn't move on us. So now after I get that done, I'm going to come inside here. I'll put about six pins around the inside edge. Okay, all the ones on the outside now we're going to take out. We're not concerned about those. So we'll stick one more right here. And that gives us a perfect, nice circle right there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. You notice I've got all these pieces numbered. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start right at the top here. And we're going to come on around uh, with, our, uh, with our glass. This will go right in here. Like I said, these right here, we're going to cut them back a little bit to allow for that leg on our cotter pin for our, for our uh, hanger. So I'll go offline, cut those out a little bit, come back and show you what they look like. And then we're going to come on around here. We'll start to lead this in. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. So I just wanted to show you this right here. We've taken, we've ground this back in here. So when these two go together, here again, this one's ground back. That'll create room for the leg from our cotter pin bent down inside there. So then all we do is we're going to head, go ahead and we're going to set this in here. Line it up straight right there. Take a piece of our old u came here. Stick it in here. Push it down. And we're going to take and we're going to pin it. Now we're putting this piece of old u came on the edge here because if you put your pins directly on the edge of the glass, you can chip it. And uh, then you've got to kind of start over. So now we're going to put our piece of H came down here. And this one here is going to go right around here. And here again, we'll do the same thing here. We'll take and put our piece of U came here. Push it in tight. And we'll pin it. And we want to make sure this is straight up and down here, which it is. So we're fine there. So the after we put these all around here, I'll go offline and do that and come around here. Then we'll show you we're going to put a piece of H came all the way around. And we'll be ready to put the next row around. 
then we'll do the same another piece of h came then the outside row and then we'll come back out here with another piece of u came right here uh, we're going to put our two hangers there'll be one right here and there'll be one right here so they'll ping here and then it'll go off up to uh, support it so anyway that's how we're going to get started on this we'll get this together here and uh, then we'll come back and we'll uh, put a piece of H came around here and then I'll go offline I'll cut these circles here and we'll show you how we're going to put that one on now we'll keep this, we'll just build it right out wherever it comes out here is fine we don't really care I know it's gonna I can see it's already growing here just by maybe oh uh, uh, three thirty seconds of an inch already so we'll be back after we get this all put in here and uh, we'll put get ready to put the piece of H came around it all right we got all of our glass cut now and put in here so uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap a piece of H came around this so to find out how long a piece we need to go around this I just use a string go around the outside edge and as this turned out just takes 26 and a half inches which will give us some lap over so they'll come across each other and then we can cut them down the middle so whenever I'm doing a circle like this I always like to kind of pre-bend something in my came to get started with uh, there's all kinds of things around the house or at the at the studio or the shop or where you're making these things to uh, bend stuff around uh, this has been around a uh, one gallon paint can gives us a nice start and so what we'll do is we'll set this right in here like this and we'll take and we'll pull out these pins right here And then we'll just take and we're going to slide this right up in here like that and we're going to put a pin right back where the joints are just like that so each each joint's going to get a pin and then we're going to take it we're going to move that one out of there and we'll come on around here again we're going to pin it and we'll move this one over here like that and we're going to let this go on past here and I'm going to mark it right here this is where I want to cut it so I get my dikes here I just put them up on edge That's a little bit too long. I want it to split just like that. I want to split this joint right there. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to pin it right here. Okay, now this one here, we're going to come on around. We'll take these two guys out of here. I keep bringing this around take and pin it right here bring it on around and now I'm going to cut this a little bit long on purpose because I want to um, take really teeny cuts until I get the slide in there smooth so I'm going to take my cutters I'm going to come over here Okay, that's about an eighth of an inch too long. Boy, we're getting close there. And take little cuts at a time because you'd like to get this as close as possible because you don't want any great big solder joints right here. There we go. You can take your little tool here. This is called a FID, by the way. So I just call it a tool. I don't know what a FID is. So we'll just call it a little tool here. We're going to put it in here. 
I'm going to push this down. I can actually go all the way around with this and push it in tight. I'm going to take this and we're going to pin it right here. So that gives us this all the way around here. It looks like we've got a nice fit everywhere. Everything stayed nice and round. Stick one more right here. Okay, so that gives us our first circle. I'm gonna pick up our mess right here. Get that out of the way. So now I'll go offline and I'll cut our ripple glass that go in here, our iridescent ripple glass. And then when we come back in, we'll show you how we're going to place it in here. We're going to do it just like we did this one. We'll come all the way around. Uh, we're going to mark it also uh, by directional uh, because the ripple will be running straight up and down. We don't want it to start to go sideways around here. So anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, go offline. We'll get these all cut. And then when we come back on, we'll show you how we're going to put those in. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So we're going to get ready to cut our our iridescent ripple glass right now. So as you can see, I've got it marked uh, with the uh, grain going up and down here. So now we put all our pieces on here with our arrows so we, we know that they're all going up and down. Because this is a ripple glass, you have to cut it on the smooth side. So uh, we've turned the pattern over on each of these so that they'll be in the, the right order when we cut them out. So basically when we cut them out, uh, this will be the side that you'll see up, like this will be the number nine right here, and it'll go in here at number nine. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go offline. I'm going to cut these all up. I'll grind them to, to uh, fit. I'll put them all in here, and then when I come back, uh, we'll put a piece of H came around the outside edge here, and uh, then we'll go offline, cut all the outside green ones, the dark green ones, We'll put them all in place and then we'll come back and we'll put the H came around the outside with their hangers on it. Then we'll get it all soldered up and the project will be pretty much done. So we'll be back. All right, well, we're back. We got all our iridescent glass cut now. So now we're going to wrap this with H came. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. Uh, if you notice how nice the uh, iridescent looks, it's all going the same direction. So you don't have any of these turned sideways. So uh, that just gives it a nice look. So like we did for the this this one here uh, and this one here, we, we pre-bent this on something. Uh, here's the here's the piece of H cane we're going to use to go around the outside edge. Uh, between here and here happens to be at nine inches. Uh, if you got an old pie pan laying around, that's exactly nine inches. So that works good to get you your your preliminary bend in it. So we're going to end. The ends anywhere over here somewhere. It doesn't make any difference. We're going to come right to a joint and uh, we'll solder it there so you won't be able to see where we're going to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to take out these guys right here. So we'll take out these right here and we're going to take our H came and I mark where the center of this is, so I'll line it up here, right on this one right here. And I'm going to take and I'm going to pin it back here. Then I'm just going to come over here, pin it here. Take this one out here. Make sure this doesn't come out of the uh, slot right here, right here. This one's coming down. There we go. Push that down. We'll come up here, we'll take this one out here. Take and pin it here. Okay, now, as we come on around here, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna go past where we're gonna quit. We're gonna quit right here. But uh, I wanna go past it, so that gives me the nice contoured bend right here. So we're gonna take this one out and we're going to take this one out and we're going to come right on around here just like this but we're going to come all the way around here like that i'm going to put a pin right here now i'm going to take and we're going to mark this right here I'm going to be right at the 
in the middle of this piece of H came coming down here. And we're going to take it, we're going to take our dikes with the flat side facing towards the, the long end here. And we're going to cut that off. And we want to go right where, right where it's at, right there. So we're going to take, we're going to put a pin in here like that. Then what we'll do, we'll take this end here, take this out, and we'll bring it on around here. Make sure they don't fall out of here. We want to be sure that they're up. There you go. We want to be sure they're up against the H came all the way around. Okay, bring it around. Now just bring this on down around. Okay, now here, I'm going to kind of just fold it in here like that. And I'm going to mark this right here. But I'm going to mark it just a little bit long. Because when I put this together, I want it to fit really nice and tight, like we did up here where it fit nice and tight. So be sure when you cut this, if you're going to cut it like I'm doing here, be sure you put the flat side towards the, the good side of the lead here, not, not against the tail that you're going to cut off. If you don't, this inside here will pinch it to a point, and that'll, that'll mess you up as far as it getting to fit right. So this is just one of these things where you're going to have to keep little baby baby cuts at a time here. That looks like what we're looking for right there. Push that in right there. That's what we're looking for right here. Now just take and put your pins back in here. Push it in nice and tight here. I cut this one here just a little bit short, but uh, that'll be okay. That gap's not too big to solder, and you won't notice it at all when we're done there. I would normally like to cut that a little bit, a little bit closer here. But as I said before, the camera is right above me makes it difficult to find out exactly where you're at when you're cutting this. When you're doing this by yourself, you can be right over the top of it and you can get a, a better view for that. But this is fine. Uh, when we solder that, you'll never see where this joint's at at all. So uh, if you want to, you can take and go around the edges here a little bit, push that in. It's already in nice and tight. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do going to go offline here and we're going to cut our dark green to go around the outside edges. We're going to have our hangers right here. So uh, when I get that all laid out, uh, I'll show you how we're going to lay down the glass. Here again, we're going to put it down so that we have everything running up and down. So all of the, when it's hung and the sun comes through it, it'll all be up and down. You won't have anybody going sideways. That just makes the job look much better. As I said before, if you're short on glass, you don't have a lot of glass. Sometimes there's not much choice. You just have to put it wherever it fits. So uh, when you're buying glass, maybe uh, if you have a project in mind, uh, try to buy enough to, uh, to make it go directionally. It uh, just makes a better looking job. So when I get these all laid out on the glass, I'll come back and we'll show you how I laid them out. And then we'll cut them out and we'll come back. We'll put, I'll have them put in here. Then we're gonna run our H came around. The H came is gonna start right here. It's going to go all the way around to here and then we're going to slide our hangers in here and here and then we'll run a piece of H came across the top. On this one here, this one here, uh, if you don't like the idea of trying to run one all the way around, you can always run one from say this joint to this joint, run halfway and then come and run on around. If you make your joints real nice and smooth like this right here, uh, when you solder them, you won't see that you've made this into two pieces. So keep that in mind too. So anyway, we'll be back in a minute. We'll get this laid out 
and then we'll go there and we'll uh, get it all cut out and we'll get ready to finish the project. Okay, so we're back. We've got all our pattern pieces put onto our dark green wispy glass now. So you can see we've, here's the direction of the glass. We've got all our arrows pointing up. So uh, we'll get these cut up. We'll go offline, cut them up. I'll put them in the project, put our hangers on it, and uh, then we'll go ahead and get it soldered up and uh, we'll be done with the project. So I just wanted to show you that we've got this all running by the grain. You, you can see that it wastes some glass here because you could have gained these all together. But uh, your outcome will be nicer if you can do this. Uh, sometimes you just don't have the glass to do it. So you have to, uh, to resort to putting them going all different ways. What we'll do with this when we get ready to cut it, we'll just take our cutter and we'll just cut right through here, create a piece here. And then we'll take this one right here and we'll cut right down through here. That'll create a piece over here and then we'll cut the pieces out. So uh, we'll be back in a little while. All right, well, we're back. Uh, we got everybody filled in here now. We got all our dark green uh, around the outside edge. So now it's time to wrap this up to finish it up. Uh, we got our two hangers made here. They're the ones that are going to go right in here. I've ground these back already to accommodate the legs here. Uh, you notice they're just curved just a little bit, so they'll they'll match up to the the edges on our glass here. So they'll go around like that. What we're going to do, we're going to run our cane from here all the way around back over to here. And then we'll take and we'll notch the end of it just enough so that we can get our hangers to go down inside between the glass and the inside of our U-cane. So uh, the hangers... Most everybody, if you follow along on some of my videos, you've already seen this about a dozen times. But I'll just give you a really quick rundown how we do this. We're taking a uh, steel cotter pin. It's zinc plated. And we're just taking our long nose pliers and we're going right in the loop here. Just like that. And we're taking a small piece of tubing. It's 3 30 seconds across the opening here. We're sliding it onto the legs. And we're bringing it out here to a 90 degree. Then we're just going to turn this over and we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to bring this out to 90 degrees. Now, because this is curved right here, uh, I just physically just took and bent this down like that. So give you an idea how, how, to, how we get that down. And just keep working on it until you get it down to the shape that you want to go in here. Okay. So now what we're going to do, I've got my U came cut here. I just took my string. I ran from here all the way around to here to find out how long to make this. I pre-bent this. Actually, this one here is actually print bent around a, just a regular plastic barrel. And so what we'll do is start right here at the bottom. I marked where the center of this is. So it's intentionally cut long. It'll come up here somewhere. Then we'll cut it back to be right in the center of our, of our uh, joint right here. So we'll take these out. And we can take out uh, maybe four of these, pull these out here, all right, then we can take, let's take, we'll take this right here, and we'll take and slide it up in here, and sometimes this takes a little bit of fooling around with this to get it, to get it started here, there we go, okay. So when I, after I get my U came started right here, I'm going to take and we're going to pin it back so it doesn't get away from us. And I'm pushing it in here hard. So we're going to take this one here out. I'm going to come around here, here again, push it in here. Take this one out. Push it in. We'll put a couple more in here just as we as we move along here, just to keep keep everything tight here. Okay, so this comes around here just like this. Bring this on around to kind of help make that smooth this joint right here. Okay, and then we're going to take our pin, and we're going to take and we're going to mark this right here, right in the middle here. Then we're going to let that spring back out. We're going to take our dikes now. And we're going to take it. We're going to cut this back. Okay. 
get it to line up right here. Right here, it's come out of the slot here. There we go. Okay, that's a little bit long. We'll cut it off just a little bit more. Okay. Now we're going to pin this right here for right now. So we'll take this other side now. We're going to come on around with it. Here again, take your time. Make sure you got your your glass pushed up into the U came. Just like that. This makes a nice smooth circle for you. Pin it quite frequently because you don't want it to get away from you. Uh, here we go. Okay, so we're going to bring this one on around. Pull it down. down. We're going to do the same thing right here. We're going to take and mark this right there. Okay. Now we're going to pull this back out. And we're going to take and we're going to cut it here. Remember, you want to use your smooth side of your cutters, not the inside. If you cut the inside, it'll have a point on it and that won't work for us. Okay, very good. All right, right there. Okay, now we're going to have to cut a little notch in here to uh, accommodate our hanger here. So uh, this is going to be a little bit hard to do because I'm going to try to do it while we're, while we're on camera here. And uh, I'm going to uh, have to reach around here and see if I can get, do this. Uh, maybe not. I don't want to mess this up. So you know what? We'll come back and I'll cut these notches out real quick. All right, I'm going to come back on here real quick. I, can, I think I can do this one over here. I notched this other one out. Here's the little piece that was in there right here. So I notched it out here. Uh, so I'm going to come around the outside edge here and see if I can do this uh, without getting in the camera. So I'm just setting my dikes in here. And I'm just going to cut this little notch out here right here. I can lift this up here. And we're just cutting a little V out of that. So that makes uh, an area for this to come in. Then lift it up and be sure, you, be sure you get it lifted back up here. There we go. Okay, now you take your hanger here and it goes down in between the H came and your glass. And that holds that trapped in there. So now we'll take and we'll pin it here, a couple more pins just to keep it in here tight. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll take this, we're going to slide it down in between where we ground the glass back. Just like that. And we'll take and we'll pin it one more time here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take another piece of U-came right here. And we're going to run it from here over to here. And this gets a little bit tricky because you got to get around the loop here. So this V that we cut in this side here will be a little bit bigger. And uh, I'll show you what it's going to look like here when we get it when we get it ready to go. So we'll cut this side here off. And we're just going to take and we're going to cut a small V in here to accommodate the hanger. Then we're going to move these two out of the way. And this is going to sit right in here like this. Get it up there where you want it. Okay. Got a little bit of a problem right here. This isn't cut quite straight. So we'll take it offline here and just cut it just a little bit straighter. We want these to come together like that. This piece right here appears to be just a little bit too short. So I don't want to, I don't want to just go ahead and try to fill that gap up. So uh, let me go offline real quick. I'll cut another piece to go in here. Because I want that to fit really tight. I don't want to have this big, 
this big gap right here. So uh, I know it's only a, like a, oh, maybe a, not quite an eighth of an inch, but I'd rather have it right up against here because this is, this is where we're going to hang these from right here. This is where our strength comes to hold this. So I don't want to take a chance and have the, this uh, come loose here somehow. So we'll be right back and we'll, we'll uh, put a new piece in there. Okay, we're back. Just wanted to uh, get this length a little bit longer here because I want this to touch right here. So now we're going to set this one in here. This is the one with our notch in it. We're going to set it right in here and we want it to fit just like that. See how tight that is now? That's what we're looking for. So we're going to bring this on around. I'm going to bring this one on around. And now I'm going to just take here and I'm going to mark this right about here. It's a little bit long, but I don't want to get it too short. I want it to fit in there really tight. So we'll just take and we'll cut that. Here again, take your time fitting this in here. Let this go up above it here. That looks like that might be just about right. So what we'll do, now remember I said we're going to have to cut this V back here fairly far because it's got to go around that loop right there. If you don't do this, this is a little crooked here. We'll straighten that up a little bit. If you don't do that, you won't be able to get it over the loop. So come down here a little bit, little bit longer. We're going to solder that back in so you won't see that. So don't worry about it if you think that's too big. Okay, this is a little bit long. Here again, now I'm going to just cut this off very, very short. Stick it in here. Come around your edge. Sometimes your glass wants to drop down. Okay. I think we got what we're looking for right there. Here we go, right there. Okay, I'm going to slide this cotter pin here up into the middle there right where I want it I don't want to be in line with that right there okay now this side here needs to be just pushed in just take a little block of wood right here and push this down in here just like that and then take your cotter pin and slide it up in here just a little bit Take and pin it. Get one more pin here. Here it is one. Then kind of look at all your look at the, look at all your corners here. See how we're looking. This looks like it's coming in here, right here, just a little bit. So pull this pull this out just a little bit. You can just take a little block of wood and push this out just a little bit. There you go. That's, post, that's better right there. You can see that it was, kind, it was kind of coming in and then cutting in here. So push it out here to make it look smooth. We can straighten that up a little bit after we get it soldered. If you see some area that's got a little dip in it. But uh, we'll do it right now. So there. We got it all closed up now. We got our hangers on here. Uh, they're supported by these down pieces. So uh, it looks like we're ready to go ahead and solder. So... I'll go offline here real quick. We'll get the soldering iron plugged in and uh, we'll start to solder this. Then I'll go offline and solder the whole thing on both sides. And then when we come back, we'll get it all cleaned up. We'll put a chain on it. We'll hang our hummingbird in the middle and uh, uh, this project will be all done. So it's a pretty quick one compared to the solar lance, lanterns. All right, well, we're back. Okay, so we got everything together here now. So we're going to solder this up. And hopefully you've watched some of my other videos. You've seen how we how we do this. I use a small stainless steel brush here. And I just come in here and I take and take and shine up the the joints that we're going to solder. And then we'll go ahead and we we'll put our 
flux on it. I'm using a liquid gel flux here. It's water soluble, uh, uses, uh, has no smoke or no odor to it. And you just put your flux on your joints, just like that. And then I usually take a, a piece of uh, U-came. It's an old piece right here. And I'll take and I will take my iron and just go over it real quick. Make sure it doesn't have a heat spike in it because if it's too hot, it'll burn right through the solder. I mean, right through the, the lead came and then you'll have a big gap and you're going to have to either cut it out and, and start over or do something with it. So we'll move that away. I just like to tin my iron just like that. I like to lay my solder, my solder down flat and just come down on it. And just make a real quick joint about a sixteenth of an inch just like this come out here the outside edge if you have one you don't like you can just hit it again with your iron and smooth it out This one here kind of sucked down in there. So just give it a little bit more solder so that you get a bead on it just like you do with the rest of these. Okay, uh, I'm going to go offline and solder the rest of this for uh, you. You don't need to watch me do the whole thing. I'll turn it over and do both sides. Uh, then I'll get it kind of cleaned up a little bit and we'll come back and we'll talk about hanging our hummingbird in here and putting a chain on it. And then the project will actually be done. So I'll be back after we get it all soldered up and uh, we'll talk about how we're going to finish this all off. Okay, so we're back. We've got it all soldered up now. Here's the, here's the front side. It looks really nice. So we'll get it all cleaned up here in a minute. But before we do that, we've got a couple things to do. We want to solder our cotter pins in here to lock these in. You can see right here, this is the one we had to make the bigger cut for to, to get it over the lip of the, uh, or the, the crown of the cotter pin. So this one here is a little bit smaller. And then inside here, uh, we're going to come in here and just solder this really, really lightly. It almost doesn't need to be soldered, but we will. So this is the back side right here. So it came out real nice. Uh, I see a little deal right here. See these little bubble ones right here? If you have one like that, just hold it like this. Take your dikes and just set it in here and just pop it off here. You just want to take those off. They don't look quite, quite nice like that. Okay, so we're going to solder these up now. So to do that, we're going to bring in our vise. And uh, this is the same vise we've used every time. This is a drill vise. You can get these at all kinds of different stores. They act like a third hand for you. And we're just going to tighten this up just a little bit. We've got to be careful. Don't, don't get too carried away here. We're going to take and we're going to flux around our hanger or our cotter pin. And then I'm going to just take my iron and I'm going to tin it like that and I'm just going to set it right here and just let it wait till it flows off just like that I'm going to take this out turn it around and keep it on an angle here so I can get it to flow into that area I'm going to do the same thing here just tin my iron whoops don't want to do that just set it in here and just let it flow off. Just like that. This one here is not going to be stuck on there. That'll just pop off. The reason that didn't stick on there is there's no flux on it. So it doesn't, it doesn't adhere to it. Okay, then we're going to turn this side around. I already fluxed it, so we don't need to do that. So now we're going to take here... Put our siren iron in here. 
to solder it right down. Just like that. Turn it around. So by putting the hanger underneath the cane like that, it's not going to be coming out anytime soon. So uh, you don't have to worry about this thing coming apart or, or uh, having something drop off of it. Uh, it'll be, it'll be uh, ready to go for the lifetime of the, the project here. So we're just going to go in here now. We're going to fill this one in right here. Just like that. Now this one underneath here, this is the one right here. I'm going to just turn it around here. I don't know if I can show you this or not. I'm going to, I'm going to put it up on an angle here. Put my vise up on an angle like this. So you can see right here is where we're going to solder. And we're just going to use just a little bit of solder on that. We don't want to gob it all up. So I'm just going to take my iron and I'm just going to put just a little bit of solder on it, just like that. I'm going to hold it right in here. I'll let it flow away. I'll put a little bit here. Let it flow away. Just like that. Okay, so now the project basically is all done. We just need to go ahead and clean it all up. If you look really close, you can't see where we put any of our solder joints so uh, or any of our, our joints that came together. If you remember, this one here came together right here. This one here, uh, I think it stopped over here somewhere. This one here stopped over here also somewhere. So anyway, it came out very nice. So I'll get it all cleaned up. We'll come back. We'll put a, uh, we'll put a uh, chain on it, and then we'll suspend our hummingbird in the middle here. And uh, we'll take this one outside also in the sunlight and uh, we'll get a couple of pictures of it to uh, end the video. So appreciate your watching and I hope you've enjoyed the project. All right, we're outside. We got the project all done. I've got it hung from the patio right now. So uh, I'm real happy with the way it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and followed along. If you have any questions about it, uh, hit the subscribe button. And I'll answer you back about uh, how to do any of the steps in this project. Uh, it was a fun one to do, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.